Good day, human Latios Saiyans. So this is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shuffle. So let's begin. All right. Last time we took on the Winking Jigglypuff. This time, well, we've got the Winking Clefairy. All right. So. I don't know why I just clicked on um, this, but whatever. All right, I am going to actually go. I think I'm gonna go Gengar just because it'll be the quickest to Mega Evolve. Although we don't have any moves to begin with, There's only nine moves, so this one's already gonna probably be. Probably a little worse than the others in terms of catchability because there are fewer moves to begin with. On the other hand, who knows, maybe it'll be a higher base. I don't know. So, here we go. We got a bunch of blocks, so whatever. Let's do this. Alright, we got the Lincoln Clefairy. That's obviously going to have Block Smash Plus. And let's just finish it off. There's no power of 4 plus to go for. It's really nothing great. I'm just gonna do this. Get the Mega Evolution. It'll combo in the Metagross and that'll beat it. There we go. Alright. So, five moves remaining. That's an S rank. The question is can we get the capture? So, let's see what our probability of catching it is. 30% catchability. Come on, Clefairy. Stay in the ball. Don't be like Jigglypuff. Don't be like Jigglypuff. You're gonna be like Jigglypuff. Alright, 60%. We're gonna get a super catch power. All the way up to maximum. I'm actually gonna pass. I have no reason to great ball it. Because if we can catch it in the next attempt, then it'll be a lot easier than coin grinding for 2,500 coins. So, I don't recommend great balling these daily stages unless you have a lot of stuff to do. Uh, throughout the week So take it however you will all right. I am going to go for Dialga to break some blocks That just seems to make sense. All right, you're gonna add in the Clefairy Hmm That puts me in a uh, complicated scenario There we go so this thing does not have much HP at all. So, in fact, there's really no reason for us to even have Mega Gengar. Because it, we're beating it before we're getting the Mega Evolution for the most part. So perhaps I could just replace Gengar with just a non-Mega. If we're going to try this again. So we're going to get 30% again. So. I mean, it's not bad. But it could be better. Oh my goodness, this thing really is pulling a Jigglypuff. <laughs> wow. These fairy types. These fairy types are just... They're just being a pain. Hmm. Maybe I'll bring... You know what, if this fails, I'll bring Muck instead of, instead of uh, Gengar next. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's... We're not gonna get the block smash off here, though. But it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, because the fairy will finish it off for us. But HP-wise, we're not doing very well. Alright, so there's the Power of War Plus and the Mega Evolution, and that's gonna... That's gonna do it. That's just gonna do it. <laughs> we're consistently getting fi leaving five moves left. So, it's an easy enough stage. It's just catching it's a pain. It's very RNG uh, required. 30%. Come on, Clefairy. Stay in the ball. Just stay in the ball. There we go, finally. It only took three tries, but there we go. Okay, so it has an attack power of 50, the ability Block Smash Plus, and the Fairy Typing. With that, we have S rank K 
captured the Winking Club Fairy. All right, that wasn't uh, that wasn't too bad. So those of you who are doing the Mega Pidgeot competition, it ends today. I wish you guys the best luck getting your Mega Stone and potentially getting up to three of each of the Mega Speed Ups and the Raise Max levels. Those of you who are trying to farm for Kabutops for whatever reason, or for Electivire, Regirock, whatever you happen to be doing, wish you guys the, the best of luck with that. Those of you who haven't captured the uh, Thunderous T yet, good luck. And once again, good luck to you guys who are trying to get the uh, Winking Clefairy. I mean, it's an easy enough stage to beat. It's more of just a ca um, the trick is getting really luck with the catchability. I mean, I guess you'd be pretty good early on having a fairy type block smasher, though later on, I mean, in the game, these winking Pokemon, they're kind of cool because they're winking and all, and they're, they're, they're adorable Pokemon, but they're not exactly the most useful because they do have very low um, attack powers. But I really can't complain about the fact that they're being offered because they're kind of cool. So apparently there's going to be some kind of like costume Pikachu coming up soon, so that'll be cool. But until next time, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with new Pokemon Shuffle content, I believe, coming out tomorrow. So, see you guys then. Goodbye.